God damn it. The new bandage. gonna show up. I probably didn't do it right. Oh good, just four people. Hello everyone. Oh, I'm in extreme pain today. I got my pot leaf. It's an ice pack and I'm icing my hand. I went to the doctor today and I'm gonna have to go to a few more this week. I said broke more than one bone. It turns out I broke, cracked it in like three places. Kind of like in a zigzag pattern. So tomorrow they're probably going to put a cast on it. I'm going to an orthopedic surgeon. And the reason I didn't start at 9 today was because I forgot that I had a doctor appointment. Plus I had to do my laundry. I have nobody helping me. And because my hands don't work, my fucking apartment looks like a fucking cyclone. So I'm living on the most base needs right now. Can't button my shirt, so I can't wear button-down shirts for a while. Because I t cannot turn my hand and pinch my fingers together to button shirts. So no, no performing until... Well, I, I could perform, but I just can't wear, like, my usual dress clothes. Oh, 11 people are ready. Um... I don't know how to do the notification. I've seen people do that, where they say, oh, the show is going to begin in a few hours. Oh, cool. I got new people in here. Mel from Mel Manitoba. Toba Tublia. And I do love people from Australia, just so you know. That's my favorite country outside of the USA. Um, thank you, Rasputin. Thank you, Bobert. Gemstone. Oh, we can talk about all these. I didn't party too hard, I wish. But I got something here that one of my fans bought me yesterday. And then you'll see soon enough. Dimples. Papa Joe, good. It's going to be a nice, relaxing time. Luna. All right. Awesome. 16 people. Whoa. <clears throat> Thank you, Megan. Oh, Danky the Clown. Hello, Danky. Sweet. Oh. Every time I do a show, one fan will be awarded a wrench. Um, my friend is at work, so I don't want to put that on him. So tonight, Danky the Clown gets to be a managing moderator. You got a wrench. <coughs> I'll choose a different fan each time. Oh, just know I'm not going to be doing this every night either. The last time I did this before yesterday was three weeks ago. But I'll try to do more since I can't really go out to perform. Um, let's see what we got here. Is this today? Oh, hi, Joe. You're not watching a repeat. This is live. It is pretty rare. But uh, since I'm in pain and can't go out too much, I'm going to do... In fact, because summer's coming, I, I like to sit out in the porch. I'm going to do this more often. But um, just know that if the video goes more than an hour long, YouTube will not post it. That's why you don't see the show from yesterday. They Not only would they not release the show to me but I had to delete it because they just wouldn't process it um they did something really weird in YouTube they like it self-generated a five minute like sample from the actual show which you will see is up I don't know why it did that so if you guys want to see this later it's possible that they won't release it so what I'm gonna do is 
end the show before like like 45 minutes I'll end it and then I'll start another one so that way there might it might stay oh the little bird is up there oh shit when I'm done asking my hand I'm gonna show you and I do know about Elisa getting arrested I'm I'm delighted as fuck she's a horrible woman who tried to kill me when I was in Los Angeles yes I love to interact with my fans I, I figure I needed to do this more often hey look I got 24 people in here Screw Elisa. Yeah, that guy did have control. I'm surprised. You know who, who I'm surprised didn't attack her? Barry Mezzi. Barry Mezzi's a psycho. Fuck you, Barry Mezzi. <laughs> Dude, listen to that. It's not that cold out. I saw the highlight. I did not make that. No, it's weird. They just self generated it. God knows what else they're doing behind the scenes. I live in Chicago, um, let's see. TMZ. She was on TMZ? She's that fucking famous? She was on TMZ? Seriously? Oh, fuck that bitch. I can't wait till I'm fucking on TMZ. <laughs> Even though you don't want to really be on that because it's kind of a harsh show. But my little bird, my little robin sitting in that motherfucking nest up there. I can't get too close or she'll get scared and fly away. And I'm almost done icing my hand when I wrap my hand back up. I'll aim the camera over there, maybe you'll be able to see her. Oh, just five more minutes with the ice pack. If I was on TMZ, I would be so thrilled. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting texted outside of the show. I can't leave the show to look at your texts. My friend is texting me. You know who I'm talking to. Um, I can't see your text right now because I'm on my phone and I'm outside. Would I eat a kangaroo burger? Probably, if that's something that people eat there. Like it's a normal thing. Um, in the 1980s, a rumor was spread that McDonald's was making a meat out of kangaroo meat, but you know what the, the rumor is now. Yeah, I don't have any bologna. Actually, I do have three pieces of bologna up in there. What the hell? Someone's shining a light on me there. Face to face. <laughs> oh yeah, what do a show? You have to get in touch with me about it though. Um, And tell me when we can do it. Oh gosh. Milkers, I don't have milkers. Ah. Yeah, but Elisa Jordana got her just come up and I wish the guy would have broke her fucking face. I mean, she goes, it hits him right at, whap, right, right that. She took her hand while she was sitting in the driver's seat and right like that. She didn't stop short, she cracked him right in his nose and broke his nose. And then she kept pointing at her like, like this, pointing at Socorro. And then she twisted his ear, so he had every right to grab her and twist her hair. I'm glad she's in jail. You know, when I was in LA, I mean, she trapped me in a car with her and tried to make me go into a coma, but she knew better than to hit me. If she would have put her hands on me, chances are she'd be a paraplegic today, or even dead. I'm afraid of my temper, so that's why I don't go around people too much. She harmed my career, but other people are telling me that I became even more famous for the next day when I trolled her, telling her I was going to show up at the hotel. She's waiting at the top of the Godfrey Hotel, and I'm like, I'm on the way, but I was really at the Wax Museum because it was my last day in LA and I wanted to just do some sightseeing and tourist crap, you know, I love that shit. So I'm in the wax museum. I'm like, and she's calling me on her phone, are you there? And it, there's an episode, the whole show, you know, I have a playlist called Calf or Kermit and Friends. It's, it's got all the, all the California trip in various episodes. I spent three days there, it was great, I loved it. But I trolled her and I told her, like, I'm on the way. And then I said, oh, I'm over by the, the, what is that called? The 
that club that River Phoenix had, the Viper Room. I said, I'm at the Viper Room. She says, it's not even open. I said, I know, I'm just looking at the outside of it. You know, I used my status as a tourist to trick her and it worked. So she sends an Uber over there and I'm nowhere there, but I'm, she's like, why aren't you getting in the Uber? I said, I don't see it. And she's like, it's right there. I'm like, oh yeah, I see it now. I'm gonna get in it right now, you know? And of course I'm just fabricating it. And she's like, you didn't even get in the Uber like 25 minutes later. And <laughs> finally I'm like, I'm in the elevator, I'm coming up. And she waited another 10 minutes. I said, oh, I'm in a, I'm behind a curtain. She's like, what curtain? I don't see a curtain. I said, I'm in a chicken suit. I'm 10 feet, standing 10 feet away from you. And she's like, I still don't see you. And after about two and a half hours, she figured out that I wasn't going to show up. And then she spent the rest of the day berating me to total strangers who didn't even know me. So she's just giving me more free press. And then at the end of the night, you know, close to the end of the night, I went there. I walked down Hollywood Boulevard, close to my hotel, across the street, where the Target is, by the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel. So I'm crossing and I'm hearing her money thing pinging. You can hear that a fucking mile away. And so I went down the stairs there, and of course she's with nobody, like who the hell would wanna hang out with her? And so I spent like a half hour with her, just sitting there smirking and acting like a narcissist and she had this lady on the phone with her saying, oh, Minnie's a bad person, he's a bad person. And I'm just laughing, I'm like, bye. <laughs> I had a lot of fans in the chat and someone in her chat was like, had a wrench and was delete deleting. <sighs> Robert. Oh, to hi, Tom, awesome, Tom is here. Doom surfer. Why does she even care what you do? Because she wanted to get clout off of me. A lot of people have me on their shows just to use me for clout, to get me angry. They'll get someone to come in their chat to call me the P word and then, oh, I'm getting mad and everything. So I'm, you know, from now on, if anyone wants me on a show and you want me to make drama and, and fight with people, you have to pay me $50 to go on your show. This, this, don't worry, I, I don't mean you, Joe. You don't have to pay me anything. But I'm talking about these other people. All right, let me get up here. Shot in Floyd, hello. You caught a live mini. I have to go back on my phone. I have to go a little bit at a time to see the chat. I can't see, like like on a computer, you can see a whole bunch of it. I can only see this much of the chat. Yeah, that was great when he grabbed her hair gemstone. Mel, let's see who else. Okay, let's get back down here. I have 26 people in the chat. Now $50 an hour is good. <sighs> Lol Cow Live, I have no idea what that is. I could get a lot of fans from that though. You should tell them to put me on there. I'll go on that and I'll fuck with them and I'll be famous even more. Oh, you saw my Grady interview? Oh yeah, he says I can upload that. Later on I'm gonna download it and then upload it to my channel so I have permission I love you too, guys. I gotta blow my nose, hold on. That's gross, I don't do that in front of people. Okay, all right. I'm watching in the shower. Ah! I'm too cool to be a lol cow. But I use that status to gain control of people's shows. And when I go on people's shows, I'm always the center of attention. So look at this cool shit. There's five of them in there. So my friend yesterday who bought this for me, I'm trying to remember who that was. Well, he hired me to do an art card. See, my memory's very poor. I can't remember much anymore. Remedy tips for poison ivy? No, I think you're supposed to use that pink stuff though. It's pink and, and it's kind of like a liquid plaster. Yeah, I have this, so we're gonna have some fun with these. If I could just remember who the fuck bought them for me, I, I would give him credit. He sent me money yesterday. If anyone was, in, anyone was in my live yesterday, it was a guy I gave the wrench to. I can't remember his name though. I don't have a good memory. 
Yeah, calamine, calamine lotion is the pink stuff, yes. So let's put that over there. My memory's so bad I may end up in a nursing home. I can't care for myself anymore. I'm scared. I don't want to go into one of those concentration camps. That's what those are. Oh, I was going to show you the bird. Okay, it says I could, okay, I can switch the camera around without turning the camera around. So, let me see if that'll work. Okay, you see that fucking Robin up there? See him? See her? Isn't she fucking cute? Hi, little bird. You sitting on your little nest? Look at that, I'm not lonely. I'm old now, but not super old. Yeah, hello, little bird. I am lucky. This bird didn't come last time. Last summer, spring, it was so lonely, but this now I have six weeks of wonderment in store for me. She's so beautiful. I'm a bird pervert. Yeah, I'm watching you. Hi. <laughs> pervert. Oh, little bird. Doesn't that make you happy? I can't get closer. I don't have a Zoom. I don't know how to do that on here, but if I got closer, it would scare her, so... Oh, I love oh, I love when birds dive bomb me. Yeah, little bird. Okay. Isn't that yeah? I like fishing. Oh, I used to love going fishing. Yeah, I love fishing. I liked catching crappie and perch mostly. My dad used to take us and he'd catch catfish and put them in a big giant fish tank. See how I can operate this fucking lighter with my fucked up hand. What? There's not as much in here as I thought, so I guess there's only this much in there. What a chip, but I got five of them. Do you think this will hurt the bird if I smoke it so close? I'm, I'm about ten feet away. This This won't hurt the bird, will it? I remember when this robin two years ago came and it like dive bomb, but then it put it, its claws like that out at my face. So I put my hands out in the same way and the bird flew away. Look at a bird will check. There's no wind out here, so. If I see that it's bothering her in any way, I won't smoke anymore. Let's see, I can't do my lighter with my right hand. My right hand's my dominant hand. Chris Dreyer, see the, the, the pot, just like Tolly on South Park. <coughs> Tolly <coughs> couldn't remember anything, so they gave him a joint, and then he's like, oh, I remember. I hated that character, to be honest, but... um. Thank you, Chris Dreyer, for this gift. This is, he, he sent me a donation. I told him I would buy this and keep my word. I did. They won't give me miracle, miracle, what would he call, medical marijuana? In Illinois, I guess you have to have a, what you call a terminal illness, like, Stage four renal cancer, renal disease or cancer, AIDS, they won't give you medical marijuana. And I'd have to pay anyway. Oh, yeah, I'm towely. Look, I got my towely robe. I love robes made of towels. They don't make them like this anymore. I got this at a thrift store, brand new. Look, it even has somebody's initials on it. I wish it said MM on there. Look how close MLL. LL Cool J. Maybe this is his robe. <laughs> I'm always looking for co cool shit in the thrift store. They have brand new things in there. Maybe I'll do a thrift store edition when I'm in the thrift store. And you can see how cool this place is. I find a lot of my suit jackets in there. My authentic Chicago accent. Chicago, bing, bang.
I used to nudist mafia guy named Rocco and Feliz. I'm gonna upload that in the next few days. The episode where I was on Grady's show, George Grady. And I talked about when I, when I was in college and I used to write to this mobster. His name was Rocco and Feliz. I wish I still had the letters. I had a stack of letters that big. All that went down in, in the garbage when I was homeless. <coughs> I lost all my family letters. My grandma, who, when she came to this country from Sweden, she went to Ellis Island in New York and I had her passport and like her documents from Ellis Island. It was the coolest fucking thing. And it was like more than 20 years ago that I lost all this shit. And I'm really bummed out. You, you can't get stuff like that better. Hey, oh, it's Granny14. I haven't seen you in a while. Hello, Granny. Still, there's 26 people in the chat still. Am I cool with Nate? Um, I'm cool with him. I don't know if he's cool with me, though. And people make mistakes and shit. I think he just doesn't know any better. He's got a lot of brain damage from his partying days. I, that's why I didn't put my real address on the envelope when I sent him the merch because I knew he was going to accidentally dox it. So I'm not putting my real address on my merch anymore. You know, I don't really want people sending me things. They could send me, you could send me donations. You'll be helping me. You can give me gift cards to my my email, which is mini underscore manson at yahoo.com. You know, I accept things like that. Then I could just buy what I need. No pizzas incoming. <laughs> Hi, Dagan Hills. Peter Bowling? Oh, fuck yeah. It's been a while since I've seen you. It's Hex. 28 people in the chat. I haven't heard from Hex in a while. He's a special friend, and so is Peter. Peter's hired me a lot of times. Hey, maybe you'll hire me again to do a song. In about two weeks, I'll be filming some more songs. I'm not going to let my broken hand or a depression, bipolar, I'm not going to ever let my health, my mental health or physical, get in the way of me performing. Oh, I broke my hand because I punched something the other day. I was mad. It was a glass thing, a glass wall. Point me to the graveyard. Hello. I broke, I just told you I broke it. Maybe you were writing while I said it. I punched like this, like a boxer. I got a boxer's fracture, actually. Legit broken, yes. And tomorrow, P.O. boxes are expensive. They're like 190 for six months. If I was getting enough business, I would get a P.O. box, but I, I don't make enough business to even pay for half of a P.O. box. Um. P. Diddy growing war threats overseas. <clears throat> I'm not sure I understand. What do you mean P. Diddy growing war threats? If you could rephrase that, I might be able to answer. Doom Surfer, hello. Yeah, P.O. boxes are goddamn expensive now. I would love to have a professional P.O. box. I used to. I got a P.O. box when my brother started demanding to open my mail. When I, was, when I was 31 years old, he's opening my mail like I'm a child. I wasn't even allowed to open my own mail until he saw it. Ooh, 28. Oh, general delivery. I think they do that, yeah. You know, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm going to go to the post office and I'm going to ask, I'm going to say, can I just use your address? Or I'll just put 1060 West Addison. A lot of people don't notice, but that's the address of Wrigley Field where the Cubs baseball team plays from the movie um, Blues Brothers. And that movie's been out for a while, you know, so it's funny when that goes over people's heads and they'll, they'll think that's my address and they'll say, 1060 West Addison, huh? I'm coming to get you, like Bill did. I had to upload that. I made a clip of that. When he asked where I lived, I told him 1060 West Addison. He's like, I'm coming to get you. Just like the Nazi in the movie. And John Candy came up to him in his office when he was painting the eagle and his, with the Nazi uniform and everything. And he's playing Wagner. You know how movies are and how dramatic and funny that movie is. So he, like, 
John Candy is like, sir, we found out where they live. 1060 West Addison, and sir, he's Catholic. <laughs> Catholic. I'm wearing a smoking jacket. I love smoking jackets. This is my smoking jacket. Let's see. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I perform at bars and clubs as much as I can, but I haven't during the winter. It's fucking hard to get out for me when it's cold out. Yeah, I recognized that address when you used it that time. It was hilarious. Dun, 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 da, 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 dun, da, da, da. You know, I always loved you at the end when the Nazis are in a car and the car is falling through three different counties. <laughs> me and my friend, I had a friend named Bob, you know, for like 12 years and we used to go to movies and we knew all the Chicago lore and he would teach me a lot about movies and all kinds of cool shit and we'd talk about that movie all the time and joke about it. <laughs> Smoking pot makes your nose runny. <clears throat> Don't be scared, little bird. She's so sweet and precious. I'll show her again for the people that weren't in the chat when I showed her. Perfect Strangers? You don't mean the TV show, do you? I know there's a movie that was kind of filmed. Yeah, oh, cool. My friend is still watching. I love Chicago movies. I wish I could be in a movie. I've been in Chicago like my whole life, but I lived in Florida. Hey, when you blow your nose and there's still a fucking rim. Hold on. Um, I went, the first time I left Chicago, I was 26 years old, and I left for a few years, came back, then left, left again in 2002, and then came back again. I spent like 10 years straight up in Florida, Key West, St. Augustine. Uh, I'm not sick. I just broke my hand, my right hand, ski. Who would play you in a movie? I thought about that. I don't know. But you know what? I was watching this cool documentary about Elvis, and and the, it's in Tubi, and his hair is like all white, and he's, they claim that he was still alive, and the guy did an interview. And there's a comic strip that Elvis, like, idolized. It was called, like, Captain Marvel Jr., and the character looked just like me. So Elvis essentially idolized Minnie Manson. If, if I didn't put that movie in my Discord yet, you know, I could put the link in Twitter and you can see it. I want everyone to see that movie. Elvis is the king. Well, thank you for calling me the king, but Elvis is the real king. Let's see if I'm missing anything here. Do you post when you're booked or do you keep it secret? Um, I usually film everything that I do when I perform. Joe Pesci is cool, but he's too old now. I would love it if she played me. I could play him. Joe Pesci's temper is legendary, and this is worse than mine, actually, if that's possible. And yes, Elisa Giordana, I don't know if she's still in jail, or if she, I'm sure somebody posted her bail. She got a lot of friends. She got a lot, a lot of pretty boys that she calls friends. And they danced in the courtyard, sweet summer sweat. Some dance to for remember, some dance to forget. Oh, I like Nathan Lane. Oh, uh, Addie, piss rain, and you gotta go. Okay, well, I'll see you later. She probably already left by now. An actual coconut, that's what's up, thank you. I'm the prince of darkness, that's true. Thank you, Ski. Doom Surfer. It's 5 a.m., so I'm off to sleep. Good night, Doom Surfer. Popes in Bengal. I don't know any Usher songs. Usher is cool, though. Dagon Hills. Doom Surfer, let's see. Great hanging out. Did Elise ever beat me up? No, but I would knock her fucking lights out if she ever put her hands on me in a way that made me uncomfortable. Hey, Chris, thank you for the gift. My friend Chris is here, and he still got his wrench from yesterday. I did as promised, and I bought this here today. It says 
green post, and there's five in there. So I already did smoked one, and I got four left. So I'm having a good time, and I, th I want to thank you so much for your gift. That was very sweet of you. She scripts shit on her own, but she didn't. I didn't script anything with her. She never once said, "Hey, let's script it." What she does is she'll script it the way she wants it to go, and she'll try to steer it to go her way. But she never once told me, "Hey, let." One oh, one time she says, "Cry more." People like it when you cry, and I'm like, "Fuck you." That when we were in Santa Monica after we got out of that horrible car, which I never got into again after that, because I took an Uber back to my hotel. <laughs> I love California. You guys want to see the bird again before I light one up? Yes, for you. Okay, 29 in the chat. For those of you who don't know, I have a little bird who's going to spend six weeks with me. You see that little robin up there? She's made a nest and she's sitting on her eggs right now. They have not hatched yet. Isn't that sweet? Gene Simmons is cool. Oh, hi, Ace. I accept care packages. I don't really accept packages because I don't like to tell my address. But what's up with Radio Gaga? You went off. It was like a Gigi Allen version. I did that on purpose because I was getting pissed when I couldn't do it. And I said, you know what? I'm angry. Let me see how the video will come out when I'm pissed off. And I think it was cool. Y'all, thank you so much, Chris. Uh, let's see. But no, I'm not portraying it. I'm kind of a character. Minnie Manson is who I am. I identify as Minnie Manson, but I'm not always in costume. Yes, Brandy. Look at that little bird up there. She's gonna, She gave birth and laid some eggs. And she's going to be here for a, a while. It's just like I'm, I'm the Bob Ross of goth doom. 30 people in the, in the chat. Great. Check out if they, they do have general delivery, but I'd have to give you the address of the post office, correct? I'll, I'll get the address and I'll, I'll start telling people. That's a good idea. Thanks. I would really appreciate the care package. I like, I love all kinds of candy and sodas and marijuanas. I love uh, saltwater taffy is like my fucking favorite. I don't have a P.O. box because I cannot afford that shit. Why are you invading my dreams? Because I'm sexy and super hot. Who's your favorite entertainer? <laughs> my little bird. I feel so safe and so blessed that that fucking bird is up there. God made animals to help us. If Imagine humankind without animals or even bugs or little creatures. It would be a sad, lonely place. Bob Ross is cool. You put, put the P.O. address and Minnie Manson general delivery. Yeah, I'm going to ask them at the post office and make sure. Oh, thank you, Ace Commander. Oh, Bobert, nobody. Thank you. Um, let me light this shit up and sit back a little because it's starting, it's starting to hurt my back to keep bending forward. So yeah, we got my new relaxing with Minnie Manson time. It's like art that you can't take home. <laughs> Oh, my little bird. I put a little birdhouse over there. <coughs> I think it's still there too good. Oh, Angels Asylum. I haven't heard from you in a while. Hey, feel free to put my videos on your, sh on your channel like you were doing. You were highlighting my videos. It's okay if you do that. And, and the rest of you, too, if you want to highlight my videos on your channel to send people over to me, I'd, pr I'd appreciate that. We got 28 in the chat. 
Yes, we can make it a habit, Megan. Relaxing with Minnie Manson is going to start being a part of my channel and what I do. Because I want to spend time with my fans. And I love that I don't have to have drama and shit. If I, if I want drama, I'll go on other shows. If you guys want peace and quiet and nature and discovery, just come to Minnie. I do promise, Megan. I can't do it every night, though. It would get old real fast, and I don't have enough money to buy these every night, so. Oh, you're a botanist? Oh, fuck yeah. Then you're my hero. I love plants and nature and trees. Arbor Day is my favorite. Earth Day. If I give to charities, it will be to places like that. I take it burnt out. God damn it. <laughs> I'll be like Cobra. God damn it. Is there any news on the Cobra JFS fr front? Is he still with um, that Jessica person or did he dump her? Because I don't keep up with that too much. Although I do watch the Boglum Chronicles channel. I won't go on Cobra's channel. I'll just get all my content from Boglum. He makes good videos. I like his editing. Okay, let me see what we got here. Ooh, the chat's really lighting up now. You should go on his channel and post my link and say, hey, Minnie's talking about you. There'll be like 50,000 people in here. Do that, go on his channel and post the link to this. Okay, it says 3650. I'll end it pretty soon and then I'll do another one so I don't lose the video because I think they time it. If you do it more than an hour, they don't let you have the video later. And if anyone wants to donate to me for any reason, or buy merch or a song, um, my cash app is Mini Manson Talent, all one word, and my also my PayPal is also Mini Manson Talent. And if you want to contact me to, to see my merch, you know it's all out there. But if you still want to contact me, which you'd have to to buy it in private. Mini underscore Manson at yahoo.com because YouTube won't let me post that in there because they don't know if that's you or not or if you're doxing so they're just banning everyone. Yeah, Cobra is getting evicted. I heard about that, but I heard he's getting a really super nice, like rock star kind of apartment. That guy's worth, th did you know he's worth $3 million now? His dad handles his money. I watched one of his streams last week and I saw that. He got over like a, I think it was like a thousand donations on one hour and a half show. I was so jealous. Oh, thank you, ladies. Sukama. Jessica tried selling a young girl on Craigslist, really? <coughs> thank you, Fox. Thank you, Ace Commander. Ace Commander is one of my oldest fans. I like the name you chose, too. Like you're an Air Force pilot or something, a jet fighter pilot. Well, he doesn't get all that money from SSI checks. He gets them from donations. They send him shit, but with that comes, comes the added curse that people send him things he doesn't want. Okay, what the fuck is happening with my bandage here? Let me tuck that in. Why did you see that? I made a ring. Those are fucking hard to make. My mom could make those when she'd smoke her cigarettes. Her favorite brand was Cool. You heard of Cools, right? That's what she'd smoke with the menthol. I probably don't hold this in too much. I just, like a cigar, I just go, sh I keep forgetting you're supposed to hold it in for like 10 seconds. He spends it all on booze. If you make a circle and tap, private parts. <laughs> I smoke sometimes. This is rare. A fan bought these for me. I was able to get them. Normally, I can't afford shit like this. This is a treat. I said, I'm going to come back the next day on the show and smoke with my fans and have a nice, relaxing time. We got 26, 26 people in the chat. Do you own a cape? Um, yeah, I actually have a leopard print cape. I don't use it that much, though.
Okay, we're at 40. If I stop this and I start a new um, show, will you guys just come into the new one? Because, like I said, YouTube is really weird. If you go over an hour, they will not let me have the show. And I want to test this theory and see if they'll let me have this video afterwards. I don't want... My birthday is July 29. So... I party like a rock star sometimes. I'm 54. Okay, I'm going to end this stream and start another one. So you guys don't go anywhere. Come on my next stream immediately. I'm going to do it right now. I'll see you in a minute, okay? Let's see, how do I stop this? All right.